Hey there, I'm asked quite a bit, Doc, how do you figure out what's going on with someone's weight gain? Where do we start? What do we start looking at? Well, there's four main areas that I will typically start when I'm looking at testing to figure out why is someone being held back from losing weight or why is there a plateau, like what is up? First and foremost, we gotta look at stress. Especially for anybody over 40, it has to do with lifestyle factors because life is going to have an impact. Now, cortisol is your stress hormone. If that guy's elevated, you're gonna get some belly fat, so we have to be thinking about that. The other big factor is what's going on with your estrogen levels, what's going on with your progesterone and testosterone levels. Are you producing sufficient or excess amounts of these guys, and where can we do some adjusting? Now, what's the best test for hormones? I like the Dutch test. It's the dried urine test. It tells about your metabolites and how you break down your hormones. You can always do hormones by blood too, but sometimes looking at the metabolisms like just gives you a lot better of an answer. Now cortisol, saliva cortisol, you spit in some tubes, we look and see what's going on in terms of its production throughout the day. So before breakfast, before lunch, before dinner, before bed, we take a look at those babies and see what is going on with your lifestyle and your factors that may be contributing to your weight gain. Now keep in mind, low cortisol can also keep belly fat on, so that's something else to consider in this whole scheme of things. Now gut health big factor in weight gain it can often be a cause of why we've got this distended belly we're thinking it's belly fat but really it's bloating it's inflammation in the abdomen and when i remove some inflammatory foods things of that nature we get rid of some bugs we can see the body slim down so this is a huge huge factor now i've written down dysbiosis which means an imbalance of bugs within your gut. SIBO and SIFO, SIBO means small intestine bowel overgrowth, SIFO is small intestine fungal overgrowth. You can have overgrowth of one or the other, you can have parasites, you can have all kinds of different things, even excess viruses in your gut causing trouble. Now, why do we get all those things? Boom, poor digestion. That's what sets it all off. And actually, instead of going on these huge killing rampages lately, I've been really working on helping folks optimize their digestion. And that helps to really start to see some changes within the gut. Going back to basics here. Now, how do we optimize digestion? Well, you know, we're looking at how much enzymes do you produce? Are you producing any at all? You know, we can do great tests with this and that test is called the GI mapping test. There's also GI effects and there's GI 360. There's lots of different tests out there. I prefer the GI mapping, so I'm gonna you know, put it here. I do not have any financial gain from that. I just happened to use that company. The same thing here with the hormones. I use the Dutch test. I do not have any financial gain with them either, but I do have podcasts that talk all about that as well in an interview with them if you're interested in more information. Now, metabolism, what is going on on that level? Well, gut health and stress both have implications and they both contribute to your metabolism and how well you absorb your food or don't. But metabolism is really on a cellular level. How does food get to your cell and what do you, happens once it gets there? Is the, are those little micronutrients doing what they need to do to help give you energy and fuel and fat burn and all those fun things that we need them to do? So there's testing for that too. It's called the oat test organic acids testing. There's a company called Great Plains Labs. I have no financial gain with them either, just happen to like the test. And so organic acid testing will tell you what's going on with your mitochondria. Are they sick? Are they having trouble making energy? And are they have, having trouble burning fat? Are they having trouble utilizing protein? Are they having trouble in general because they're malnourished, meaning you're not getting food from the gut to your cells? That's a huge factor as well. So something to be thinking about there too. Toxicity. This is a big one and has become more and more prevalent as we move into generation after generation and get older because, well, we're like barrels. We get more things put in over time and sometimes it gets to the point where we can't relieve all of the toxins in the body. And how does this happen? Well, our digestive system, one of our ways of output, so removing things from the body, can't detox, so we're, the liver can't pull things out of the body, the gut is not pulling things out of the body. We can also look at the kidneys being toxic, we can also look at the lymphatic system as being toxic and holding things. Now where does all this backup go? To the cells. Then it blocks proper metabolic function too. So toxicity is something that's really important to look at. Heavy metals, they can be found in our groundwater, in our 
water that we drink every day and this is why it's very important to be drinking clean fresh water it's also really important to be be breathing clean air because this is a factor in terms of different things like mold in the air even other types of biotoxins so what can we do to counter these things well first and foremost we got to know what we're dealing with so there are multiple different ways of testing these guys you can look at mold in the urine and see what levels are actively in your blood we are in urine sorry inside your body you can also look at heavy metals through urine or through blood and there's a company called zrt lab i usually use their testing there's also vibrant wellness there's a lot of different companies out there to assess this now biotoxins those are byproducts of what's going on in the gut in particular you can use something called biotoxin binder from a great company called Cellcore to help to bind up some of these toxins so you feel better and we can remove the inflammation that these buggers cause in the body so what I want you to be thinking about when you're going, okay, why am I gaining weight? Why can't I drop the weight? What the heck is going on? You want to be assessing all of these factors. Now, are there more issues? There's definitely, you can go down some serious rabbit holes in terms of viruses and things of that nature, but it's going to come back to what stress do these chronic infections have on your body. If you're interested in more information, I have multiple podcasts on this subject in particular, over at my website at drjkrausnd.com where you can find tons more information on this. But for now, here's a quick rundown on what you can do to get started to sleuth out why you're not losing weight. So I'm Dr. Janine Krauss. Thanks for listening.